This is the face of a clock. We can use it to calculate pi because it's well circular. So uh, let's do that. In one day, the second hand makes about 1440 revolutions. And if we notice the speed of the second hand in radians, then we can calculate pi that way. So these are the values that we get, as we saw in the last clip. Yep, the angular speed of the second hand is about 0.1 radians per second, as shown here. Uh, the time is that we're going for is one day, since we know that there are 1440 revolutions in one day. Okay, so we can calculate pi from there. Using distance equals speed times time, we get, we get uh, this equation. And then we can plug in these values up here and put them into here. With a little bit of rearranging of the formula, uh, we can put pi as the subject, x, and evaluating gives pi equals 3. And yeah, that's the correct answer.